six months after the Nokia Microsoft partnership. The first Windows phone is here. The question is, will the Nokia Lumia series be Microsoft's comeback kid? With the answer and a review and lowdown on that phone, Radhika joins us. Radhika. Yep, so this is the new Nokia Lumia 800 from uh, Microsoft and Nokia combined together. Now, look at the phone. It's First of all, it's pink and it's pretty. Well, many people won't like pink phones. I think this pink looks really nice on a phone. This is a 3.7 inch Super AMOLED screen. Um, crystal clear. Also, it has an 8 megapixel camera right on the back. Well, the specs are the same as you get in most Super phones nowadays. It's got a 1.4 gigahertz processor and also 16 GB storage. Now, uh, Microsoft has picked up, sorry, Nokia has picked up the Apple way and made this completely unibody. Uh, no removable battery and the storage is limited only to 16 GB. No expandable memory via micro SD card. Now, the defining thing in this phone is the interface. Look at it, it just looks so beautiful. The first interface that does not give you an icon hangover. When you compare iOS and Android together, well, they kind of look the same, but this is the first interface that Microsoft has put a serious effort in and I think is going in the right direction. Uh, there's also full Microsoft Office support. So if you go there, you can um, explore Excel, PowerPoint, and Word, and if you come back, if you're a gaming fan, you're going to like Xbox Live on it, which makes you uh, let you create your own avatars. Now, the price on this is not revealed yet, but expect it to be somewhere in the 30 to 35,000 buck range.